Howdy howdy, welcome back to the channel on a Thursday, meaning in Marvel Contest of Champions we have a new set of arenas, and our new set of arenas include a feature champ that I don't think too many people are going to be interested in, in Civil Warrior, kind of a mad champ, kind of, it's kind of decent, uh, and a decent kind of average, like, kind of a power control, but I mean, with that uh, special too, but in, in general that's kind of just a, an average, below average champ. However, the four-star basic arena champ, we finally have Call Obsidian come in. And although uh, Kabam has talked about uh, nerfing him in the past, they've gone ahead and have postponed that for a while. And I know a lot of people are still interested in Call. So anyway, if you're new to my arena cutoff videos, what I always like to do, or arena cutoff prediction videos, is I always like to compare these arenas to past arenas as that allow me to look at those past arena results to kind of get an idea of what might happen this time. And as I already talked about with the feature champ, Civil Warrior, he's an old champ and he's going to fall into that old bucket of champs that uh, really don't have a ton of value in today's game. I mean, he's decent, don't get me wrong, but it's just not a, he's not one of those top old champs you can get like Miles Morales. Um, he's definitely not like in that Venom kind of category. He's definitely a good champ. But anyway, he's definitely fits squarely in that old. And then when it comes to Call Obsidian, believe it or not, I'm going to call it Medium Interest. And the reason why I say Medium Interest, and you'll see here in a minute, um, is that Medium Interest, I defined that that's a cutoff range of anywhere from 2 to 3 million. And I might have to readjust that because looking, past, looking at the past arena four-star basic cutoffs, we haven't had anything over 3 million since May. Even some really good champs, they've been uh, under 3 million, just under 3 million. And that's why I think Call Obsidian falls in here. But anyway, now that I've got these categorized, let's jump into some more details around these uh, similar arenas past results. And let's just keep on going with that four-star basic, uh, you know, me medium interest, as I call it, anywhere between 2 to 3 million. You can see here with all the recent tra tra champs that we've come in in that category that just fall under 3 million. I mean, you might as well call them high interest. They're that close. And I think Call Again is going to be right around there. You've got Captain Marvel. You've got Havoc. You've got Nick Fury. And most recently, you had Human Torch. All of these champs fell in the... Uh, under 3 million, just under 3 million, so that's why I call them medium. It almost feels anymore where how the arena cutoffs have kind of adjusted and where we are with the game today with four stars. It feels like 2.5 to 3 million now, or 3.5 just to give it a good range, just in, in, just in case we have some outrageous numbers again. Maybe when Namor comes around, I don't know, but still it feels like it's going to be somewhere around this area. When I even looked at things that you don't see the results here, he was at 2.9 million, and when he came around as a five-star basic champ, he had a cutoff very similar to Call Obsidian. So I really do think Call's going to fall right around here. This number may be 3 million, but you'll have to hold on for a minute or two before I get to my final prediction. But anyway, when it comes to feature champs and old champs with the three-star feature arena, you're looking anywhere from, uh, you know, that it's really just past that last milestone. You get to 650, anywhere from 650 to 675. That's a very consistent trend we see for this arena. Uh, for the four-star feature, really, in, in old champs, there's, when it comes to, you know, the, the, the four-star feature, there's two groups, really. You're, you've got the group that's in the 5.5 range, and you've got the group that's in the 6 million range. And here you see champs like Miles Morales, Modoc, and most recently here, a king group coming in that 5.5 5 range. And then, uh, then you have Venom at 6 million. I really do think Civil Warrior, where he's at, where given his status in the game today, I do think he's going to be closer to that 5.5 range. And then five, the five-star feature old champs, there's two groups really. There's a group that's kind of in the 20 million to 25 million range, which as you see here. And then there's a, that group that gets to 30 million, 30 million plus. Like Venom, he was in that 30 million plus. That's why you don't see him listed here. I think Civil Warrior is going to squarely fit in this group. Somewhere between 20 to 25 million is kind of where he's at. And more. And you've seen we've got, these numbers have ticked up just a bit. Most recently with Modoc and King Groot. Even King Groot got to 25 million. So 24 to 25 million is kind of that new range for these type of champs. Civil Warrior kind of fitting right in that fitting in that group pretty squarely. So we've got some pretty decent trends. The only big question mark is what's going to be the four-star basic result, and I'm sure that's the one that most folks are interested in given where Civil Warrior's at today, and we have Call of City in there. So anyway, here are my predictions for round one cutoffs for these new arenas. Uh, and these uh, for the veterans results, uh, veterans results, veterans bracket. All of these are veterans bracket, meaning that your account has been open for uh, one, uh, sorry, over 60 
60 days to so 61 plus that's when you're in the veterans bracket and uh, here's where I think we're gonna end up starting first with a five-star feature I think the cutoff for Civil War is gonna be right around 24 million I think for the four-star feature we're looking at 5.5 million then jumping to call up sitting I think it's gonna be right at 3 million so I still classified that at medium because mediums two to three million three million plus is high so it's really gonna be right around that three million range again we saw Captain Marvel we've seen Nick Fury human torch recently y'all come in at 2.7 so I really think we're going to be in that range, uh, right? But I think a little bit higher because Call still has some, not some, but Call is definitely one of the better damage output champs out there today. So and I know a lot of progressing rosters would love to have him. So I think 3 million is what we're going to be looking at here with a three-star feature, Civil Warrior coming in at 650,000. So with my cutoffs, uh, predictions always try to be within 5 to 10%, so I always like to give a grind target to give yourself some of that extra buffer, and I strongly, strongly recommend people that really don't want to miss out the call should pay attention to this grind target. Here's where I think it might the number might end up. doesn't hurt for you to go an extra couple hundred thousand to get a champ like Call. Believe me, I've got a Call as a 5-star, rank 5, and he is a great champ. So anyway... Uh, for the four, five star Civil Warrior, 26 million should give you plenty of room. 6.5 will be plenty of room for the four star feature Civil Warrior. Now, with Call Obsidian, I think you want to go at least to 3.3, maybe 3.5 if you want to be super safe, but 3.3, you should be in pretty safe territory. Nothing's guaranteed, especially with a champ like Call, so at least 3.3, I think, to give yourself extra buffer. Again, going by the trends, I think the predictions show, you know, the trends show us we're going to get around 3 million, but I think 3.3 to make sure you get the champ you're after. And lastly, 700,000 should be plenty, 710,000 if you want to go a little over 700,000 to make sure you get that three-star feature Civil Warrior if that's who you're looking for. And then, uh, and, and again, these grind targets as well as cutoff predictions are all for the uh, veterans bracket. For the earlier brackets, there's just not a ton of data out there. When we've seen a champ come, like Call of City come in, though, we've typically seen that four-star basic number creep up a little bit higher than even the four-star feature. And I think that's a scenario we're going to see here. Starting for, first with the beginner's bracket, I think three-star feature, you're looking at... Uh, 245,000, four star basic, 1.1 million, and four star feature, 1 million. Jumping down to the intermediate bracket, I think you're going to look at, I think we're going to have a three, uh, the three star feature cutoff right around 550, 550,000, go to 600 if you want to be safe. Four star basic, you want to go at least to 1.5 million. Might be closer to 1.3, 1.4, but I'm going to say the cutoff going to be 1.5 because i've heard folks report those numbers in the past and that's the only way that i can get those that data anyways for folks who uh kind of self-report their information in the comment section of my videos and i do appreciate it quite a bit for those folks who do that because that's the only way i get the latest and greatest of what's going on here so i would really love to hear folks who uh who regularly follow my videos if uh and, and are in an intermediate bracket or beginner bracket and are going after call would love to hear how you do after round one because that'll help me with that name more uh Namor Arena come in here, I think in a couple weeks, probably in a month, maybe a month or two. Don't know off the top of my head, but it's very soon anyway. But anyway, with the four-star feature for Civil War, I think we're looking at 1.1 million. So anyway, these are my thoughts on uh, round one of the new Call Obsidian and Civil Warrior. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever said the uh, four-star basic first, but it's the one that most people are most interested in, I would say. But anyway, I'm going to do it properly. Uh, here are my thoughts for round one of the Civil Warrior and Call Obsidian uh, new arenas that we have here in Marvel Contest of Champions. would love to hear your opinion, hear your thoughts. Throw it on down in the uh, comment section. We can discuss them there. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section as well, and I'll try to get to them at, sooner than later. Other than that, if you found this information helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button as it helps out the channel. And if you've uh, a, a regular visitor but never subscribed, or if this is your first time, you like this type of videos and others that I have on the channel, we'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe. So thanks, thanks again for stopping by, and have a great day.